just seem to set along the breeze When I'm lying wrapped up in your arms The whole world just fades away The only thing I hear Is the beating of your heart And I can feel you breathe It's washing over me I believe I see a gray, silverish Kia coming in the lot, followed by one, two, three other vehicles. They're, yes, they are parking on this end of the lot, ladies and gentlemen. And um, I'm ready to start taking bets. My knees are knocking a little bit, of course. So uh, my best man will give the signal when the entourage starts to make the ascension up the hill. If you could all please start standing around, we're about to begin. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. It's just a couple minutes. And um, so those of you who haven't heard, the person who won the bet that said, you've always driven out here. Maybe she took another way coming out. Yeah, so she went three miles a different way. She wasn't lost. Sometimes we all are perplexed in life. So anyway, she, they got everybody back on course, and she's on her way up. So one moment. That was her story. From what I've heard, she's sticking to it. <laughs> Who is it today that giving away this lovely bride's hand in marriage? Okay. Thank you. 
Could you tell this was unrehearsed? <laughs> Good morning. Thank you for coming. Oh, wait a minute. Are we forgetting something? What a beautiful morning and what a perfect day. Thank you all for coming. Can everyone hear me all right? Yes. Well, we may be starting about 45 minutes late, but at least you've all been standing around for a long time already. So, what a beautiful day. What a be the most beautiful chapel I've ever officiated a wedding at, I must say. Well, Mike thought of everything. You know, he's seen the movie, well, who hasn't seen the movie Runaway Bride? And he actually picked the spot with such soft sand, you can't even walk in it, let alone run away. So, Grace, I'm, the, the best man has instructions to bring you down about five seconds if you get cold feet. So, I so hope, you, hope you're good with that. So. Oh, and, and, and one more thing, especially given the lateness of the hour, I've, I've got to share this with you. Uh, most of you know Mike and Grace very, very well already. So, so when he sent me the, uh, the ceremony, which he mostly did himself, which was very, very lovely and filled with faith and scripture references and instructions and quite a few other wonderful things. And then we met at a, cu a re couple of restaurants for meals to talk all this over since we wouldn't have a rehearsal. And then at the very end of everything, he, he said, now, of course, you're officiating, so anything you want to throw or toss in there, uh, feel free. He said, of course, this is a place where everyone will be standing, not seated, so we want to keep this kind of short. And this was like after his like 24th paragraph. <laughs> now, we actually met for our first discussion at a Chinese restaurant, downtown Petaluma. And as, towards the end of the meal, we opened our fortune cookies. And I saved, no, no kidding, I saved my fortune from that first dinner. And it said, you will make many changes before settling satisfactorily. And pretty much at that moment, the, the lady who knows, uh, Jenny Lowe's, who knows Michael very well, came over and said, we're having technical difficulties at the register. Could you lend a hand? <laughs> so he leaves the table, and Grace and I just look at each other, just beaming. And we went to work, and we cut the ceremony roughly 40%. So, so this will be a little closer, but we have a wonderful Reader's Digest condensed version of the ceremony. And uh, uh, we think it'll work very well. I would like to begin with a prayer, and throughout this ceremony, whenever you hear me say, and may the wedding assembly say, and if all, all would join in uh, with an amen, we'd appreciate that. Uh, the, the bride and groom requested that, so let's begin, shall we? Father, you have made the bond of marriage a holy mystery. Please hear our prayers for Grace and Michael this day, with faith in you and in each other. They pledge their love. May their lives always bear witness to the reality of that love, one God, forever and ever. And may the entire wedding assembly say, Amen. Amen. We're going to begin with a reading from Song of Solomon by Barbie Rico. Thank you. Yes, would you mind? You can. Okay, thank you. Would you like to step up there, Barbie? All right. Okay, the first reading, Song of Songs. I hear my beloved. See how he comes leaping on the mountains, bounding over the hills. My beloved is like a gazelle, like a young stag. See where he stands behind our wall. He looks in at the window. He peers through the lattice. My beloved lifts up his voice. He says to me, come then, my love, my lovely come. My dove hiding in the clefts of the rock, in the coverts of the cliff. Show me your face. Let me hear your voice. For your voice is sweet, and your face is beautiful. My beloved is mine, and I am his. He said to me, Set me like a seal on your heart, for love is strong as death. Jealousy relentless as shoal. The flash of it is a flash of fire, a flame of the Lord himself. 
Love no flood can quench, no torrents drown. The word of the Lord. Amen. And this is a day about love. In Matthew, the 22nd chapter, verses 35 through 40, someone came to Jesus one day and asked him what the greatest commandment in the law was. And Jesus said something he wasn't quite expecting. Master, which is the greatest commandment? And Jesus replied, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul and with all your mind. This is the greatest and first command. The second is just like it. You must love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments stand the whole law and the prophets. To quote uh, from the old classic novel, O Henry, Ain't Love Grand? And the love of God is the grandest love of all. Um, the kind of love we read about in both Old and New Testament um, eclipses so much of what we commonly think of as being love today. And to underscore that point, we're going to have the best man, Michael Porter, read from the Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians 13. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. If I have the gift of prophecy, understanding all the mysteries there are, and knowing everything, and if I have faith in all its fullness, to move mountains, but without love, then I am nothing at all. If I give away all that I possess, piece by piece, and, even, and if I even let them take my body to burn it, but am without love, it will do me no good, whatever. Love is always patient and kind. It's never boastful or conceited. It is never rude or selfish. It does not take offense and is not resentful. Love takes no pleasure in other people's sins, but delights in the truth. It always is ready to excuse, to trust, to hope, to endure whatever comes. Love does not come to an end. The selfless and self-giving love of God, its height, its breadth, its depth was described by the poet who wrote this hymn. Could we with ink the ocean fill and were the skies of parchment made were every stock on earth a quill, and every man a scribe by trade. To write the love of God above would drain the ocean dry, nor could the scroll contain the whole, though stretched from sky to sky. This is the kind of love to build a marriage on and a life upon. And the wedding today is also a celebration of family, the blending of two families separate up to this moment, but one as of today. And to honor uh, this blending of families, Michael and Grace wanted to present a rose to each of their mothers who have so freely and unconditionally lovingly given their wisdom and support throughout the years. It might take a while. Do you want me to go down? It, it might take a while. Yes. Oh, gee, big surprise. We'll be back in about 20 minutes. <laughs> Lovely. And I believe you two had some vows of your own you wrote to share with each other. Grace, my love, I've been waiting for this day for a long time, and, you know, we have a beautiful world we live in. I look forward for you to go through this world with me, to walk with me hand in hand, to share 
the good times and the bad. It, it almost goes better with words that are poetic, and I know you love music, so I have a little something special for you. But wait, there's more. Are you ready for this? That's better than anything on The Bachelorette, isn't it? <laughs> and I got to follow that? Okay. Um, <laughs> you make me so very happy. So H is for happy. It's how happy you make me, how happy I am with you. A is for always. I will always love you the rest of the days of our lives. P is for pledge. I pledge to you my heart, my whole heart, because of you. And I forgot the rest. <laughs> and P is for promise. I promise to hold your hand and walk with you every day in good times and in bad times. Y is for you. It is you that completes me, and it is you who makes me whole. You make me so very happy. That was very lovely, guys. Very, very lovely. And by the way, Mike, that was some of the best lip syncing I've ever seen. So it was terrific. <clears throat> so. Who has the rings today for this lovely couple? The Lords of the Rings? Since it is your intention to enter into marriage with your right hands, if you could join hands and prepare to place the rings on the fingers of each other and repeat after me. You first, Michael. I, Michael. I, Michael. Take you, Grace. Take you, Grace. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, I will love and honor you. I will love, honor, and obey you most all the time. All the days of my life. All the days of my life, my darling. And Grace, if you'll place the finger on Michael's hand. Yes, finger. that finger. Pick a finger. Uh, I, Grace. I, Grace. 
take you, Michael. I'll take you, Michael. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Uh, let's all bow, shall we? Lord, please bless these rings and bless Grace and Michael who wear them in your name. Grant that they may always have a deep faith in each other, that they may do your will and enjoy blessed lives together in peace, goodwill, and love. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. And may the wedding assembly say, Amen. Amen. Well, Michael, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. If you would like to kiss your bride. I would. Okay. say, Michael, that's some of the best lip syncing I've ever seen. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. <laughs> They've asked for a final wedding blessing, so if we'll bow one more time. May your children bless you, and may your friends console you, and all Yahweh's children live in peace with you. And may we all say, Amen. Amen. Grace and Michael, may you always bear witness to the love of God in this world, and may the afflicted and needy find in you a generous friend, and may we all say, Amen. 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 And may God bless us, everyone. Amen. Amen. Thank you all for coming, and the best man has a few announcements for you. Give them a big hand, everybody. Everyone is invited to William Tell Restaurant which is in Tamales. You follow the road back up to Tamales. Michael and Grace and some others are going to be sticking around to take pictures. I can't tell you how long that's going to take. <laughs> but where you're going, there will be food so and drink. <laughs> right. I think so. Do you have anything else? That's what I re oh, we want the um, wedding party and the family. Yes, so the wedding party and the family will go ahead and take some pictures. The rest of you, William Tell, right back downtown, you see a red um, balloon. Oh, well, no, there's some, some food first, but he needs oh. his table. Oh, that's right. But wait, there's more. Um, we, Dino does have some food. Is it table set up? No. Not set up. Okay. You so, um, okay. So, so we'll go ahead and set up at this table here. Okay, so I guess we have some food set up. It's coming up, right? Um, don't we have that square table? Okay, well, I guess okay we'll so we'll use this table here. So. Okay, but we got to get the food up here. So. Okay, so I guess we're going to get the food up, and um, it'll be served here. For, for those who would prefer to go ahead and go over to William Tell's Fine, but we're going to have some snacks set up that Dino has generously made. So we'll go ahead and get that all squared away now for those who want to have that with us. Mikey and Paul, can you help Dino bring the food up, please? Thank you. So, yeah, we got it. Thank you. We got it. Yes. Yeah, so